ding 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 dong, a wild walnut was spotted, opening her door, wearing a full blown outfit at home, heels and everything. This is the housewife dreams she had always anticipated. A video ready for her to film, dress video as the box stated. Now many of you know that I am engaged to a wild Nikolai and we are having a wedding soon and apparently I need a wedding dress. So today we are investigating Amazon wedding dresses. I'm literally balancing you guys on top of a cactus right now, so. <laughs> Hope you're not too itchy. Hey, I need. Despite my intro, I'm not usually wearing that at home. I'm usually wearing a ketchup stained band tee of a band I don't even listen to. Poser. Oh. So you guys know that I went with Mia and we tried on these beautiful, gorgeous, aesthetic, immaculate wedding dresses that we saw on Instagram from a brand called Berta Bridal. Well today I've decided to go to the other spectrum and try on really affordable wedding dresses from Amazon. These wedding dresses start at $20 and go all the way to $50 and today we're going to see if it's really worth it to spend a lot of money on your wedding because I was thinking about it and it's only going to be a couple hours and I don't know if I want to spend an entire two months rent on something I'm gonna wear for literally two hours probably stain with wine and then get dirt on so why is there gonna be dirt on my wedding dress well I like my men like I like my coffee buried <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Let me know if you guys think it's worth it to spend a lot of money on your wedding day or if you think one of these dresses can just make do. I, I don't think they're gonna be that bad because just looking at them, the quality looks okay. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about it. Let's just jump right into it. So I think I'm gonna start with the biggest dress here and see what it's about. So this one is called Clover Bridal Vintage High or Bride White Under 108. Really got a nice name to it. It comes in this like matte material plastic that I like. <laughs> and it says, this bag is made of plastic. Use it for as long as you like. However, when it is no longer of use, do not leave it in the countryside or in the sea. Dispose of it in the refuse container. The world belongs to us all and we must protect it. At least they're trying to be eco-friendly by telling us to be eco-friendly. Oh, okay. Oh my God, there's a little hair on it. Okay, there's a hair. There's a hair in it. Can you see that? Um. I look like a Twinkie. So this is the first dress. I really like the shape of it, I'm not gonna lie. I like how it moves. Let's start with the positives. So I really like the rhinestones on the bodice. I think they're really beautiful. I know in my last video I said I didn't want any tacky rhinestones, but tacky is not synonymous with cheap. Um, tacky just means like tacky. Expensive things can be tacky too, but these in particular are very beautiful and not tacky at all. There's a lot of room up here, so it would be for someone with really high tits and I, mine are fake and they're not that high, so I'm not really sure who this dress is for. Someone with tits up to their neck, probably. I like this feature. I have never seen this, even in a really expensive wedding dress. I think it's really beautiful and it makes me feel really regal. I mean, it's interesting. For the price, the amount of detail that went into this is massive. Pearls and there's like regular beading in here. And then this has a ton of details too. Like I said, totally empty here. Like. I mean, how high do my boobs have to be? And I like the tool, it's really interesting. I couldn't get it tight enough um, because there's a corset in the back and the only person here is me and Mochi. And Mochi doesn't know how to corset, but I will definitely send him to doggy school so he can learn. I really like the glitter in the tool. I think it's really pretty. It really adds something different to it. But I feel like this dress is not really for a wedding, for my wedding at least. I feel like it's more of a party dress and it kind of reminds me of like a really beautiful white quinceanera dress. The only negative thing I will say about this dress is that it was covered in long stringy black hairs like Zach Galifianakis' pube hairs. Oh, also this part is Velcro. So if you really want to take it off and get to it, it's really easy. Just slide out like a slimy walnut. Number two features a crystal mirror-like sequin bodice and a really flowy bottom. So this is the second one. And surprisingly, I think this one might be one of my favorite dresses that I've ever tried. Oh my god. 
The only thing I will say though is this slit is right up to my lacy underpants. So if you don't want to be showing your, as Trisha would say, your roast beef RB sandwich that makes its own mayo, maybe get this altered. But other than that, for the price, I'm really surprised. I'm not sure if this looks more like a prom dress or a bridesmaid's dress than like a wedding dress. This tool is making me look so big. I don't know if I can like do tool. Gotta pull up your chimichangas. Okay, so this is the bodice. I think it's beautiful glass beads. Oh my God, wait. I'm like actually loving these like Amazon dresses. What the heck? And I love the V shape. I think it looks really nice. Besides for this part making me look a lot wider, I would give this dress probably an eight out of 10. Is this so fun to play on? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, she's kind of a crackhead like me, so it really runs in the family. I hate when like girls say, oh, I'm a crackhead too, and then like you offer them crack and they just don't want it, like, oh. This was definitely the most disappointing when you order it online versus when it comes in the mail. This dress needs Jesus, because the only place I wear this dress is Sunday school, to go smoke cigarettes with my friends in the back. Oh my God, I look like a frumpy, like, grandma titty. Like, <laughs> this dress gives me four <laughs> I wasn't hating on these cheap Amazon dresses, but now I look like a fat ghost roaming through the hallway. Ooh. Give me chicken nuggets or I'll kill you. Having this dress is actually great to run in. And it, it feels really comfortable. Like if you wanted to like actually bust down in a Latin dance or something, it's like, oh yeah. This one is the cheapest looking. I like this lace. I hate this part. I mean honestly I feel like I could have made this dress out of toilet paper and it would look like this. Alright, this one is a no. I look like your grandma saggy titties. Okay. Now this is the last dress that I got from Amazon and it was kind of different when it arrived in the mail. Say hello to the lunchtime fupa ladies. Now this dress is what I would call WTF. Oh my God, I had one too many bowls of bean soup for lunch but I'm not gonna wait to film this because I'm a real human being who gets bloated after beans. Flat stomachs are only on Instagram and this is Pornhub so it's fine. I'm gonna cover up my uh, fupa right now, but let me tell you some things. This dress is for someone who is a lot smaller in the thigh and stomach area, um, specifically the butt and the thigh, like it not curvy and then has humongous breasticles because this dress is too big on me here and I'm a double D cup, depending on how bloated I am that day, how many chicken nuggets I eat, because sometimes I'm a triple D, so. Sodium tits, okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I keep pulling it up just because I think like a little bit of rouging will con rouching, rouching will conceal this, but I think this dress like has no hope. Like, why do I look like I have a butt on my stomach? Am I a butt stomach? Oh, I'm calling the police. <laughs> However, I will say that this material feels very, very nice. If it fit differently, I would like this material to be my dress because it feels like pajamas. Like it's just very comfortable, like it feels like a jersey material. You know if you steal your boyfriend's like football t-shirt, this is the kind of material this is. Now I'm not sure that's appropriate for a wedding day, but it's appropriate for a walnut. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I literally, I don't know when I'm gonna find my wedding dress, but it's not the Instagram wedding dress and it's not the really affordable wedding dress, so I might just have to sculpt my own octopus legs and move on. I just don't even know. Like, I kind of feel like white doesn't make me look good and I feel like an imposter in a wedding dress. Like, I feel like I just look like I'm trying too hard and I might just wear like a soft beige or something. I saw this wedding dress. It was only $126 on Pinterest and I've been like obsessed with it so I might order that and try. I might try Pinterest dresses next or wish dresses. Let me know what website you want me to try dresses from down in the description. Let me know which dress was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching this mess um, and hopefully I get married next year and hopefully I look a little bit better than this. Hopefully. <laughs> We don't know though, you know? Bye. Walnut out. Hey guys, I noticed there's quite a few new people on here so I just wanted to pop in and say that 
everything I say is a joke. I'm literally always kidding. It's sarcasm. Um, and I am always making fun of myself. So if there's ever a joke, it's like on me and not on anything else. These wedding dresses in particular, although they were very um, inexpensive, I never think that they should sell you something that's see-through and unwearable and doesn't look like the picture and has hair on it, no matter the price. So I'm not making fun of the wedding dresses that cost this much. I'm making fun of the sellers that like sell these things for real money. So I hope that kind of clears it up because I just realized that not everyone realizes that I'm always kidding and it's a joke, but I'm kidding. <laughs> and I would never want to purposely offend anyone. And I don't think the cost of your wedding dresses matters and is important and like has value on who you are as a person and how much fun you'll have at your wedding and how much love you have. So I just wanted to pop in and say that because I'm not sure everybody knows. And I realize that if I don't tell you guys, you don't know, obviously, like I expect you to read my mind sometimes, but I realize that that's like impossible. Like, hello, B, that's not. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a really good day. Thank you so much for watching and bye.